we're going to be taking a look at adjusting the X and the Y sensors on the base unit. In order to adjust the X and the Y sensors on the base unit, the machine must be turned on and initialized properly. In order to do this, you can look on the right hand side of the machine towards the bottom, and you will see that there is a screw that holds a white clip with wires running through it. Remove the screw, and that will give you the extra length needed to plug the machine into the base unit. This helps, and it makes it easier so you don't have to put the machine on top of the base each time. Once you have it plugged in, angle the base a certain way, and you can turn on the machine. While the machine is turning on, you will see maybe prompts to raise your presser foot or to put the needle in the highest position. But once it boots up properly, you can see that the Y arm will move slightly to the left and then back to the right. Once this has done this, it has initialized properly. We're now going to be taking a look at adjusting and measuring the X sensor. Use your gauge and the small part of the gauge and you're going to hold it in the place of the white casting and between the shaft collar. You're going to look for a measurement of 4.3 to 5.3 millimeters. If you do not have that measurement and you need to make an adjustment, locate the sensor. Once you have located the sensor, you can see the sensor is attached to a bracket. Loosen the screw and you can move the sensor either left or right to get the appropriate measurement. And once again, hold the gauge to it and check. Now we're going to be taking a look at adjusting the Y sensor. It's important to note that each time that you go to make a measurement and each time that you move the sensor, it will be necessary for you to turn off the machine and to turn it back on again. This way it can initialize properly. Now the adjustment here that we're going to be taking a look at is from the end of the ball bearing case to the end of the Y shaft. If we hold a gauge long ways from the end to the inside of the groove, we can see that is 16 millimeters. Or we can go from the end of the gauge to the end of the groove, and we can see that it is 17 millimeters. We're going to hold the flat part up against the ball bearing case, extending it towards the back end of the Y shaft and hopefully we will have the proper measurement. Right from the inside to the very end. If an adjustment is needed, locate the sensor. And once again, we can see the sensor is held on a bracket. Once we loosen this, we can move the Y sensor either left or right. Once we have made our adjustment, turn off the machine and turn it on again so it initializes properly.